Racial tension. City leaders say it's still a major issue in the city of Little Rock. Tonight, leaders met with community members for a forum to address just that. KRK4's Brittany Johnson is back from that meeting with the very latest on this and a uh, heated meeting at times. Definitely got heated. Most of the people talked about issues they felt were affecting mostly the African American community and the way that people feel like they're being treated by the city. Mm -hmm. Now, while most of the questions surrounded economic growth, some of them, and a lot of them actually, were geared towards the Little Rock Police Department and instances of alleged racial profiling. And if I need the police, I want them to come and I want them to do the right thing. Little Rock Police Chief Stuart Thomas could barely take a seat. That's because it was law enforcement that dominated the conversation at the Racial and Cultural Diversity Commission Community Forum. Perception is that racial sensitivity training is a cover. It's a cover to try to change your, 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 uh, your rookies or inexperienced people how to navigate their feelings. But it doesn't really change their feelings. A city spokesperson says the commission held the forum to address rising tension related to incidents like the one documented in this video. Uh, illegal product and Officer David Edgman was fired for using racial slurs in this exchange with a group of young black men in the river market last March. The Civil Service Board reinstated him. Now the city is appealing their decision. I think you have to make a statement. I think you have to ultimately hold public employees accountable to a certain standard of behavior, and I believe that's what we did. And while people are glad the department isn't giving up, the incident has highlighted an ongoing rift between LRPD and the African American community. It's that rift that Matthew Rugely says inspired him to post this video to the web and speak out at the forum. And I just wanted to, to uh, post it so that they couldn't deal with it quietly because it seems like these kind of things are swept under the rug by the police. I mean, you see, when I asked them the question, nobody responded to me or anything. City leaders are also aware of the divide, which is why they plan to have more forums that will hopefully lead to solutions. The city is still waiting on a court date for its appeal to reverse the Civil Service Board's decision to send Officer Edgeman back to work. Now that video, however, is still on the web, and the police chief says he really doesn't want that to define the public's perception of the department or the city.